a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter wood block with a density of 660 kilograms per meters cubed floats in water. What is the distance from the top of the block to the water if the water is fresh? And what is it if it's seawater? Suppose that rho for seawater is 1030 kilograms per meters cubed. So let's draw our block. We have 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Okay, now what we're going to do is we have this thing floating in water here. Let's draw the forces that are acting on it. So we know that since it's floating in the water, there is some sort of a buoyant force pushing the block up, otherwise it would sink. Now we also know that it has a weight pushing it down. So if we sum the forces in the y direction, since it's floating in the water, well I'll get there in a second, so we have the buoyant force going up minus the weight of the block is equal to mass times acceleration. It is not accelerating in the y direction at all since it is floating stationary, so ma is going to equal zero. So now if we move over the weight to the other side of the equation, we figure out that the buoyant force is equal to the weight pushing it down which makes sense. If the buoyant force was more, then it would float and rise even higher. If the weight was more, it would sink into the water. So since it's floating stationary, not moving, they have to be equal to each other. Now let's plug in the, the values for these two. So we know that buoyant force is equal to rho times g times We know that buoyant force is rho times g times the volume of the water that it's displacing. And then the weight of the block is equal to rho times gravity times the total volume of the block. Now we want to solve for height. How high is the water up the block? So you might not see it just yet, but let's keep going. And first, let's isolate the volumes. So if we divide over rho times gravity for the water, so this gives us rho times gravity times the volume of the block divided by rho times gravity of the water. Now, in, uh, this is all equal to the volume of the water displaced. So you might not see it just yet, but let's break up V even further. So the volume we know is equal to length times width times height, and there is the height that we're gonna solve for, and that is equal to rho g volume of the total block divided by rho g of the water. Now we're going to divide over the length times width of the volume displaced, which will be the same as the block, because the block is the one displacing it, so it's 10 times 10 centimeters, so 100 centimeters squared. So we divide that over, that gives us the height is equal to rho g times the volume of the block divided by rho g of the water times the area of the bottom of the block, or length times width. So now when we get that, they tell us the density of the block is 660. 660 times gravity of 9.8 times the volume of the block, which is 0.1 meters cubed. Now all of that is going to be, here I'll put the parentheses, that way I mean the, the 0.1 gets cubed as well. Okay. So now on the bottom we have the row of the water, which is a thousand for just normal water, times 9.8 times 
the area of the block, which is going to be 0.1 meter times 0.1 meter, so 0.1 meter squared. Now let's plug all that in and see what we get. 0 0.066, and this is a height, so it's a distance, so that is meters. But let's put it in centimeters, so if we times it by 100, that gives us 6.6 .6 centimeters. So we just figured out that the water with this block will come up 6.6 .6 centimeters. But we want to know how high from the top of the block has the water come. So we'll take 10 minus 6.6 .6 and the height from the top of the block for the normal water will equal 3.4 centimeters. Now they tell us what does it change if we add it in salt water instead of fresh water. So now all we're going to do is change the row of the salt water. So when we do that now we have 660 for the block that hasn't changed times 9.8 times 0.1 meters cubed all divided by 1030 for the density of salt water times 9.8 times 0.1 meter squared, which gives us 0 0.06408. So from the bottom of the block, it's going to come up 6.408 centimeters, and then 10 minus that gives us 3.592. I didn't round in my calculator, I just plugged the values in, so that's why I get that. Or a height of 3.6 centimeters from the top of the water down in salt water.